All right, module 16, race response. So we've got this box plot here, and this data was collected over nine days, so the number of legs, a number of eggs laid each day, and we're going to create a dot plot to show possible data points of eggs collected each day. So this could really vary. There's lots of different answers that it could be, you just have to make sure that it fits, right? We know we need a median of six when we're done. I need nine total data points. I need a Q3 of eight, my highest point. So the maximum is 10. My middle lower quartile is three and my lowest is two. So the first thing I want to do is just recreate my line here. So we're going from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoop, nine, and 10. Okay, so I'm gonna start thinking here. I know I need nine data points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not even gonna worry about this yet. I'm just gonna come here. So first I'm gonna find the median. So one, two, those go together, those go together. Okay, so here's my median. And I know my median has to be six. Okay, so since it was just one, right? That's its own individual thing. It's not going to either side of the data. Okay, I need Q1, which would be out of these two. So I'm going to make my life really easy and be like, oh, look, these were both three. And then Q1 would be three. Done. Easy. Okay. Let's come find Q3, which would be made from these two here. And it has to be eight. Okay, okay, I'll, you know, I'll challenge myself. So I'm gonna say, okay, this one was seven and this one was nine. And together, right in the middle would make eight. Look at me. <laughs> okay, so now I know my highest point has to be a 10. And I know my lowest point has to be a two. Whoa. So I just need to fill these in. And it really doesn't matter what they are as long as they are between three to six. So, I mean, this one's kind of spread out. So I'm going to throw it down as a four. I mean, and these ones are pretty close together. So I'm going to keep it a seven to keep right in there. So, right, I found my median. Boom, right in the middle. Here's my Q1, here is Q3, highest and lowest. Because box plots don't tell us individual information, they're just telling us how spread out they are. So there, I did it. Okay, so I'd come put it on my dot plot and I have one, two, I'm gonna make this a little bit fatter. Okay, so I've got a two, I've got two threes, a four, a six, two sevens, a nine, and a ten. Okay, so there you go. Now I have to write my race response. So R stands for restating the question. So, which there's not really a question. So, so okay, let me uh, make this be a question. So, what are possible points? What are possible eggs laid each day? There we go. There's a question. Okay, so what are possible legs eat? I keep messing those up. Eggs laid each day. Okay, so I'm going to say a possible set of data for eggs laid each day could be, right, it's possible, could be two, three, three, four, six, seven, seven, nine, and 10. So there's my R, I restated the question, a possible set of eggs laid each day 
Here's my answer. And then C is I'm going to cite how I knew what to do. There were nine total data points. I started with the, oh my goodness, the median. Then I found, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Then I found Q1 and Q3. Next was the minimum and maximum values. From there, I filled in with values that fit in. So, right, I couldn't put like a 15 here. That wouldn't go in order. So, I had to go keep everything in order. And here is my work to show that I did that and put it on that dot plot. So R restates, A answer the question, C cite how you did that problem. So there's, I mean, I could have come up with way different answers than that too. I mean, this would have had to be six still. There's another way that could have been different. This had to be two, this had to be 10, but I mean, there's different ones I could have put in here, right? I could have made this a six and this a 10 and I would still have eight in the middle there. So I couldn't have halves on this because you don't collect half an egg, that'd be weird. So things to think about, but I mean, this is not the only possible solution either. So kind of fun to work backwards to create those. So go ahead and try one out yourself.